Hey guys, Toxic here, and we are back, or we're actually not back, we're starting up our Civ 5 uh, game here, and uh, from Al Patan, if you guys don't know, that's where his channel is anyways, and uh, yeah, I've been playing Civ 5 for quite a while now, by myself, I haven't really decided to do a uh, Let's Play or on it or anything like that, but here we go, we're going to get started here, uh, I'm just going to set up my game here, so let's go set up game, I'm going to pick, and it's already there, because I was just playing a game as them, but the Zulus, uh, Warlike Civilization, because I do like having the war ones for fun, I find them fun, um, it's already, settings already set up, I'm gonna have continent songs, cause I think it's pretty cool how it can spawn different little things here and there, and they look different, but they're not the same as well, and, uh, I'm gonna pick, uh, 12 players with, I'm actually gonna change that to probably 20 city-states, uh, I'm gonna go on easy, which is warlord, and work my way probably up, my next one will be prince, I'm gonna pick epic, um, random civs, uh, random personalities, and uh, the only ways you can, or the only way you can't win is time. So you can win every other way. And civs, city states, I'm gonna set to 20. Okay, and let's get this game started here. Sorry, it's a little abrupt. Probably was my best intro ever, but yeah, I've always liked doing civ. And actually, I don't have the volume on. You wonder if you guys are hearing this. I probably have the volume off for the recording, anyways. And knowing my like, my phone's probably gonna go off in the middle of this. So if it does, um, excuse me. I'll just probably just turn it off then. Okay. But yeah, no, the uh, Zulus are a very big war-like civilization. Those are ones that kind of have fun to play with. I think they're more fun to watch people play, so we're going to use one of those for sure. Um, not some production here, but not really the best start. I'd more like to move my stuff up, my guys up here. Oh, uh, that's beautiful right there. Those mountains, that uh, protection. Sorry, guys. Uh, I'll try to make this as basic as, that, basic as I can for those that, of you that haven't, you know, played Civ before, but it's pretty hard. You guys kind of have to learn as it goes, you know? So, anyway, so you have a settler unit and a warrior unit. Warrior is a fighting unit and a settler. They settle cities for you. So, I'm move it up here. I'm probably going to put it in right in that little cove. Oh, yeah. This, see, now, I'll explain this to you guys. The, uh, these hills, they give you protection over uh, ranged units. Ranged units can't, at least early on, fire over those hills. So, it looks like we might actually have a pretty cool kind of start here. Yeah, it's a great spot to start. So, I'm actually going to move my settler in here. You can go over them, but just range units, they'll have them right here, so. But yeah, no. Uh, we'll get the start here. I'm going to settle my city. It's a little bit late, but I'll settle it right there. There we go. It's, uh, Alundi, I think it's pronounced. I'm not sure, really. I'm going to send my warrior out to scout as well. Uh, start research. I'm going to start researching. Since we're going to be a warlike civ, I'm going to get working on mining right away so we can get to work on, uh, more advanced units than just warriors and scouts. And I'm also going to start working on, speaking of that, a scout for my civ. We do have some pretty good production, production story, which I do like. So let's get that started there. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Um, let's send him down here. And there we go. We already got some ruins. I like that. Okay, next turn. I'm probably going to do like 30 turns in this video. I know it sounds like, oh, that's a lot. But really, these first few turns, they go by so fast because not too many civs are doing anything. It's just more exploring as much as you can and growing your cities. And Okay, so we did find natural one. That's pretty nice. Uh, the Great Barrier Reefs. Um, yeah, we could probably use those, and we also got some culture from the, uh, ruins, so it looks like we're already, get, yeah, it looks like we're already gonna have, uh, some, uh, culture going up on here, so let's go next turn. Uh, not bad, maybe a coastal city here, maybe, maybe, I don't know, get a policy going here. Uh, so we have tradition, liberty, honor, and piety are the first few. Um, traditions for a small empire is something I'm not gonna use. Liberty is for a big empire, it's probably something to use later, but I'm gonna go for honor right away, because it gives, uh, 33 more percent combat bonus just by unlocking it against bar barbarians. I want our units to be the best that it can be out there. So let's get this uh, warrior moving anyways. Let's go next turn here. Okay, Alundi. Alundi grows in 19 turns. Okay, warriors keep moving around here. And there we go. We already found a barbarian encampment. Barbarians are AI controlled. That They're not an actual civ though. They're sort of annoy you early game. And late and later on in the game though like turn whatever like turn 400 they're not gonna do anything so I'm actually gonna uh, minor victory yeah I'll pass I'm fighting them for now ooh more ruins ruins give you a variety of things they give you more settlers they give you uh, population growth faith culture everything uh, upgrade your unit whichever uh, and there we go our unit got actually got upgraded to a spearman because like I said it upgrades your unit sometimes so there we go. Let's go next turn here. Uh, next turn. There we go. And yeah, so like I said, the first video right now is probably just going to be me wandering around and exploring a bit. And, uh, wow, more ruins. And growing my city and scouts done, so I'm going to send a scout this way. 
explore this way of the uh, continent. It looks like at least you're by the ocean. So the reason I like this is because you have this mountain that no one can put a uh, unit on. You have these hills, and these hills give you protection, and they also give you protection, like I said, from those ranged units. So the only way a really a ranged unit can hit you early game is from this one tile here. So it's not bad. And you got the ocean against your back, so the first for the first few hundred turns, no one's going to do anything to you. And let's choose uh, production here. Maybe it work on a worker, because while we are going to be a warlike civ, I do want to have lots of production coming from my city to produce these units. So that's what I'm going to get working on a worker right now. I'm going to go next turn now. Okay. We're going to keep exploring with our spearmen now later on. Uh, so yeah, let's go down here a bit. There we go. And send the scout a couple tiles. That's way more ruins. Damn, we are just finding all the ruins. And it's like, uh, I did uh, one game a couple days ago where I found one ruin the entire start of the game and I was so mad because ruins they help you a lot and when you don't find them it makes you pretty mad so let's get this ruin uncovered here what's it give me uh yeah population that's a very good one because now uh, we can produce faster as you can see uh, we're actually starving because we don't have any food here but it'll get better once the worker gets to work let's go you know these orders okay move a bit more We've got a river coming up here kind of cool we have a river going through here Maybe we might put something here. Lots of food in this area, though. So we could have a production city and a growth city. You never know. Um, let's see now. That's... Okay. Yeah, I know. They're starving. I know. I know. Um, can I focus food? Let's stop starving. Yeah, we don't have any food. Um, hmm. Try to think. Is there a way... Nah, I might just have to starve down to one population again. Uh, that was a good pickup with that uh, ruin there, but we don't have enough food right now at the moment because we don't have any workers working any tiles right now. So, uh, but we did discover not another natural wonder, Mount Fuji. Let's go next turn here. Oh, oh we got another map. So it looks like this is a coastal race. So it's a pretty small continent considering that there are some, there have been some pretty big continents in the. Uh, game that I've seen anyways. So that's a pretty small start here, unless it expands down this way right here. But we don't know though. Yeah, we know you're starving. I'm sorry, but I can't do much for you guys. Um, let's get him on the hill here so we can see another little desert area. Uh, what's over here by Mount Fuji? Yeah, Mount Fuji gives you a lot. Wouldn't be bad to maybe put a city near it so we get the bonus from it, but whichever. We'll see what happens here. At least we're making gold right now. Um, yes, I know you're starving. Shut up. I could crying baby. There we go, Meta City State. Um, they're not a militaristic city state, so they're not really the best one, but I guess, I don't know, we can maybe friend them if we want to later on. Uh, city states, there's different types, by the way, for you guys that don't know, there's culture, there's maritime, there's a bunch of different ones, right? Um, but militaristic ones, which is what this said, the Zulus, they're militaristic, so I'm trying to find a militaristic um, city state, because what they do is when you ally them, they give you units, which are pretty helpful. Um, Let's keep going this way. Yeah, so this looks like it's a pretty small continent. If we're the only guys on here besides this uh, city state, that'd be pretty sick, you know, if we had this whole thing to ourselves. But we don't know because we haven't gone up here and we haven't gone down here yet. Um, and there could potentially be a city here that we just haven't seen yet, but I really don't think so. Oh, let's go next turn. Whoops. Probably going to go clear out this barbarian encampment with my spearmen in a second here. Okay, go on this hill. Yeah, so there's nothing here besides us, which is pretty sick because... uh. Yeah, so, oh, we found Craig. Uh, they're, but they're cultured, though. They're not really something we need. Um, has it served down to one yet? Damn, this city has not served down to one yet. We do need some, uh, food, though. Anyways. We have no food here. That worker needs to come along a bit faster. Uh, we know that. Um, yeah, I didn't mean to walk into your borders. Calm down, buddy. Calm down. I didn't mean to walk into your borders. Okay. We're working on this encampment here, I wonder, yeah, it'll be a dust place. We should have it next turn. And uh, by clearing the encampments, your, uh, so your units, you also get experience, like mine just did there for fighting and got experience. Gets more experience for killing a unit, and it gets even more experience for uh, clearing the camp. We also get gold for, killing, for clearing the camp, so it's not that bad. Let's go next turn here. Um, yeah, I'm probably just going to take my spearmen. And, oh, there we go, we got mining, okay. Uh, let's go. I'm going to research archery for defense because you never know barbarians could attack us with a huge army which they never do but yes yeah, so i'm gonna go in here and probably clear this out should be done come on come on really one guy left you're kidding me that is bs there if i've ever seen it and i hope this really doesn't continue up looks like it should end here but you never know 
So we do have a couple city states here, but that's not a big deal. City states don't do much besides help you. So, um, yeah, I'm going to give you drill. And I'm going to finish off this camp here. Because the camps do still spawn more units. There we go, 45 gold. I like that. Okay, let's head up here. Make sure this doesn't continue on. No, it does not. Okay. So the top, the north part here does not continue on. I'm going to send my scout down here in the next few turns to scout out down here. And hopefully, hopefully, if this is our own continent, we are set. That's all I'm going to say. We are set if this is our own continent. Okay, let's go next turn. Um, let's see now. What's going on down here? Are they going to attack us? Come on, please attack us. No, they didn't. Um, they're going to attack a city-state. Whatever. I'll be fine without them attacking them. Let's go over here. Let's clear up this little bit of fog, fog here. And we'll go here. Oops. There we go. Okay, I know you're starving, city. I can't do anything for you, though. Yeah, no, I'll stop starving, though, next turn, because we'll have enough food to keep it at one population. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Bad cough the last few days. Anyways, head down here. There we go. So all that, that fog's gone. Um, head center scout down here. Clear up this fog here, and then head south. Okay. Um, let's go and clear that. Next turn, and one more turn here. We're going to get our, uh, what's it called? Our uh, worker, which won't be bad. Uh, let's head down here. There we go. And let's keep sending it down. Let's hope that there's nothing here. I'm really... It'd be amazing if there was nothing here and it was just us on this continent. Because then we could just do whatever we wanted, you know? Which, it'd be hard to get that war when we'd have to wait till the uh, Navy became a big factor, but yeah. Let's keep going, though. Uh, choose from, okay, good. Worker's done. And I'm going to get working on food right away. So I'm going to send you up here. And I'm going to go construct a farm. Send this guy right here. Whoops. What did I do? There we go. Ruins discovered. There we go, more ruins. I'm going to choose production. I'm going to get working on a, uh, another scout here. Actually, no, I'm going to get working on... No, nah, no, I'll get working on a scout. Well, maybe I don't need the scout. I'll actually get working on a monument for now, because if it is a small continent, then it's going to be a waste to have another scout here that we're not going to use to explore. So, I'll just get working on a monument for now. And I think, like I said, around turn 30, I might just end this first video here. Um... Keep going down here, and yeah, it doesn't look there's anything down there at all. Not anything over here, no, nothing much. Let's go next turn. Um, Yolundi's still growing very, very slowly. Anything more ruins, that's good, but looks like that could potentially just be the coast right there, which is pretty sick because having an own, your own continent to yourself, I like, I like, and it's a pretty big one too, so that's why I'm surprised that there's no one on here. This is a huge continent. Uh, let's send you over here. Uh, continues. Damn, I don't want it to continue. And my phone is going off. What I say, it likes to go off in the middle of my commentaries. I'll call you back later. Whoever's calling me. So let's go down here. Okay, next turn. A few more turns here and probably end the video. And, oh, we met the Ottomans. Damn it, I thought we were on our own continent. Okay, goodbye. That means that they're down here where we meet them. Oh, we found their spearmen. They're probably down here somewhere. Oh, well, I guess, well, we are war wet legs, so I'll grab this before they do. Um, so we could, I don't know, it won't hurt us that much. We got more culture, too. I'm going to go next turn. I want to really find the Ottomans' uh, capital somewhere if I can. Oh, my God, this phone does not like to shut up when I'm making commentaries. Next turn. You guys might just have to hear that ring because it's in another room. And, yeah, I know it's pretty loud considering it's in another room, but I'll adopt the Paul. Actually, you know what? Turn 29, I'm going to... Move this guy here. Okay, I can't find them. Um, gonna move my scout a little bit. Okay, clear that. I'm not gonna adopt this policy because this is where I'm gonna end the video, guys. With the phone ringing in the background. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. A uh, few quick things for next video. Um, where should we put in our next city? Like a second city? I'm thinking up here is there's a lot of food, but not much production. Actually, right here it seems pretty good. Actually, you got these hills for production. You got all that food as well. Down here is probably not the best, but we could use a coastal city as well. Peace. I'll let you guys decide where we should put our second city and uh yeah this is gonna end the video it's sort of short this first video but yeah my phone's going off crazy so i'm gonna answer that after in this video so see you guys next time